John is, is there's, there's not a lot of them. He's a natural goal scorer, you know, especially at our level. At the Division One level, he was an elite player because of his ability to score. You mentioned a, a handful of NHL players that have gone on to San Jose. There, there's another one out of our, our program named Frank Petrano, who is a good friend of, of John's. They spend a lot of time training together. And I, I compare them as similar type of players. Uh, Frank's a natural goal scorer, tremendous shot, tremendous release. And John is similar, except a little bit bigger. Uh, I don't know if Frank Roa didn't coach him, but um, John is a goal scorer. And, and you can put the puck in the back of the net. He's got a, a sense for it, a tremendous release on his shot. And what he's done over the last couple of years is he's physically matured and he's become a very powerful skater. He's, he has almost breakaway speed at our level. Uh, we'll see how that translates at the next level. But combination of his ability, when he gets the puck on his stick, he's a special player. As you foreshadow a little bit of what John could be, what type of you know, pro, do you see him becoming? Well, he, he learned to be a much more conscientious player during his time here. He's always been a, an offensive threat everywhere he's been. But when he got here at UMass, we weren't exactly sure what he was gonna be. He, you know, he was, he was a pretty average player in the USHL. I think he had 34, 35 points his last year, which, you know, not, a, not huge numbers by any means. And we got him to campus, he's a local kid. Uh, which was which was great for our program, and I look back and I think about the first game we played as a freshman. And we we had 13 freshmen in his class. We were rebuilding the program. He, he played fourth line uh, the first weekend, and he scored a goal on the second night. And he never saw the fourth line again. He, he jumped up uh, to top two line player and stayed there. Uh, but he's he needed to learn how to play without the puck, and unlike. Uh, not not so much unlike so many kids are goal scorers and that's their game and identity they they don't work on the defensive side of the game and, and we had, and john was great he grew uh, he still needs to grow in that part but he has that unique ability to score goals and that's that's what will get him to the nhl so let's rewind a little bit a year ago you lose kale mccarr you lose mario ferraro as we mentioned you're coming off a national championship appearance so i'm sure expectations Although you lost those big time players, they're still extremely high. But John comes in, he has a record setting season. He leads the nation with the 27 goals. What do you see from him that, that really allowed him to take that next step? And how did he kind of fill a role that was left when those guys departed? Well, I think he benefited from watching Kale and Mario. He, they were all in the same class and Mitchell Chafee's in their class too. So Mitchell was a, as a sophomore, was the first team All-American. He led, led our conference in scoring as a winger. And yet Kale was the first team All-American and Obi and, and Mario, you know, was dominant player as a sophomore. So John was surrounded by guys that he could role model after and he did a good job doing so. Um, but what he did is he, he's a game breaker and there's just, there's very few of those. And again, I'm not saying this is gonna transition to the NHL, but for us, absolute game breaker. He, he could score in many different ways. And, you know, he scores by himself. I don't know how many primary assists he needed. You know, his goals are usually, if, he, if there was an assist, someone passed him the puck in the defensive zone. And he, you know, he uses his powerful stride to, to create offense. He scored so many highlight goals. It was, it was crazy. Um, so he's, He's got the ability. I think he grew up a ton, but he's physically become a very strong, powerful kid. Um, he's still, um, you know, it's the, I think he needs to have consistency in his game. There was ups and downs, and but we saw those things level out. And uh, it's unfortunate that our season ended as it, when it did, because he was easily the hottest player in the country. I think he had about 15 goals in our last 12 games. and. Um, you know, if we we had gone on the NCA and had some success there, I think it would have put him in a better position, maybe to to win the Holby, um, which I thought he, after seeing Kale McCarr win it and seeing the impact that John had, almost similar, and how how impactful he was to the success of our team and how electrifying he was. You go to hockey games. I say this all the time. There are not many people that bring you out of your seat. 
and and Kale McCarr was one and last year Johnny Leonard was just as well. He really scored right from the the first uh, time he stepped on campus. He seemed to have an ability to fill the back of the net. You don't want to predict if he can continue that at the pro level. There's still some development that he needs to make, but what are the kind of, I, I guess, the, the, the blueprint of his game that you feel like could allow for him to potentially be a scorer at the NHL level? That's, again, I said it before, that's what's going to get him there and keep him there is, is scoring goals. You know, he's not going to kill penalties. He's, he's, it's hard to score. It's really hard to score. He makes it look easy. Um, and that's, that's such a, a gift that he has. Um, and that's, that's what's going to get him there. That's the bottom line. Being with him for three years, what type of human being are the Sharks getting when John joins the fold this upcoming season? He's a real good kid. He's conscientious. He's caring. He's quiet. He's, uh, he's, 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 uh, he's, he's coachable. He's, he wants to be better. He wants to be a good teammate. Um, just a real, he's a quiet kid. He's, he's fun to work with. Um, you know, again, there was a lot of growth, both physical, emotional, um, maturity over three years was, was impressive. And, um, you know, we talked about Mario earlier. I didn't think Mario was quite ready to go. And I, and I flat out told him that, and it, it wasn't a, selfish thing that we want to keep them um, we, we want kids we just want kids to go on and be successful when they're ready to play in the NHL um, Mario was, was physically ready he's, as you know he's an absolute beast I just thought another year of playing the game and, and maturing just uh, you know in his reading of the game um, but John is you know three years he's ready you know it, 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 no use for him to come back to UMass next year he's he, he done everything that he could lead the country in scoring and, and be a first team All-American. Um, so he, he's ready. He's a really, really good kid that I think still has a lot of growth. You know, he's not at his ceiling by any means, uh, but he's, he's taken huge steps in the last couple of years. You may have answered it saying that he's a little bit more on the reserved and quiet side, but this past season with those big horses leaving, did you notice him taking more of a leadership role? Maybe it was just by lead by example, but was there any point that he he also began to lead a little bit by example in terms of you know being a vocal leader for your group. I think he, he again quiet kid. He's not one that's going to be, be a big voice in the locker room, but he uh, led by by showing his teammates that he was willing to do things that he wasn't doing earlier, as far as blocking shots and back checking, killing penalties, all those things not really connected to goal scoring. Um, again, that when you're a goal scorer, you don't do a lot of those growing up and, and he came to us and he, he said, I want to kill penalties. I want to, and we said, well, you need to earn that. And he earned it. And, and that, that's, that's always great for a team when your, your top offensive talent is committed to being, you know, helping you keep the puck out of the net as well. So that was, that was where his leadership came and um, really his leadership in another way was his, how he conducted himself off the ice. He, extremely committed kid to getting better um, always on the ice doing extra stuff in the weight room so he was very much a role model to our to our younger players and just you just watched him you didn't have to, he didn't have to say anything you just watched what he did and then you know lead the country in goals and sign sign an NHL contract that's that's pretty strong leadership all right, we'll leave you with this last question. We've spoke about Mario a little bit. The most evident thing is you, you mentioned, he, he's a beast. Um, if you watch him throughout the season, he's full throttle all the time, whether it's in practice or games. He's an energizer bunny. And that's really a big reason why I think he caught the, the brass's eye last year, making the big club out of training camp. Were you surprised at all the year he was able to put together in his first year in the NHL? I'll say a little surprised only because, like I said, I, I didn't think he was quite ready. Um, the physical part was not a question. So, no, I'm not. Once he made the team, I wasn't surprised because he, he gives you everything he has. You know, he puts all that time in, in those YouTube videos. I don't know. You know, I guess that's how he re energizes. Um, but he's, he is, our staff says that he's a, 
he's a one of a kind kid. It was an absolute honor to coach him. He was, I talked about John leading by example. He's the only kid we ever coached that after he did a drill in practice, he sprinted back to the line. Like he just, he gave so much and he was a, a pure joy to coach. And, and he's gonna play in NHL forever because he's, he's, he has more will than anybody. And it's I'm very proud of him, very proud of John. Um, it's a lot of fun to turn on the TV and watch Justin Braun and, and Matt Irwin and, and Frank Petrano and all these kids. And um, again, that class that John's in, there's now four kids that are probably going to be in the NHL next year. So um, very proud of John. He, believe me, when he got to UMass, nobody was expecting him to be an NHL player. Um, he's very, he's a great uh, reflection of what we've been able to do as a program. And he's a huge part of, of the success that we've had. And we're, we're excited to cheer him on and see you guys win some hockey games.